Hey guys, Gamma here. I want to actually go over the training center. Uh, this is actually going to be a re-recording because I left out some key details. So expedition, uh, just progress uh, as far as you can uh, through this. You'll be fine. Uh, and then you'll see like autoplay rewards. Uh, you, uh, you're going to get skill refining books. Uh, you're going to get these Esper training cards. Uh, skill training booklets, and I'm going to show you what they all do. Um, so if we come over here to our type training, this is where you're going to use these training cards. Uh, and these are going to raise your stats by a little bit, but it also raises your uh, grappler speed, uh, esper speed, or whatever you're using it for. So obviously you want to level these up as much as you can. And uh, it's a little stat bonus. Uh, and eventually you're going to want to uh, level this up the central high tech. So what's this? So what you have to do is you have to go from to a new tier to obtain one of these uh, square things. I don't know what they're called, but oh, uh, high tech pinnacle. So you're going to upgrade these like so if I go to tier 6 on grappler I'll get another high-tech uh, pinnacle uh, when I get eight of these I'll get a 5% attack bonus so that's kind of what we're training up to right now and I want to go over member training really quick because I see a lot of people saying like oh you need two espers two grapplers two high techs so Please don't do this. Right now, your strongest members will be fine. You'll want to eventually switch over to uh, two espers to uh, two of each. But, like, as you see, I have King, Boros, Girigiru, Garo. Uh, so I have three espers, three grapplers, one duelist, one high tech. And basically, uh,. Just use your strongest for now. These are my strongest, so I'm going to be using them. And I want to go, uh, and everything here, always use your SSRs here. Because they affect the training level, and it averages. So, the average for me is 99, meaning all of my characters that I put in here will be level 99. Uh, as when I put them in the bottom, uh, the bottom here. Uh, obviously, you can unlock more slots, but uh, the only thing that doesn't go, it's just an artificial level. It's not a real level. Their um, limit breaks don't go up. Uh, their skill training doesn't go up uh, if you're doing it that way, but I want to go over uh, the skill training really quick because this is important. So as you see, I have a skill training level cap of 90 meaning this goes to 90 this goes to 90 and this goes to 90 and what this does is as you see it says 90 out of 80 so it's all of these combined as up to your total skill level training which you will need to eventually get to uh red quality or orange quality whatever you're at now so let's take a look at my boros he has a blue one quality plus 14,000. so remember these numbers plus 89,000, like 89,000 extra hp okay now if we go over to member training we go skill training and we go upgrade so we had that plus 14,000. remember plus 15,000 here and I don't have enough books, so that's fine for right now. But if we go back to Boros, go back to his character skills, he has plus 15,000 here, plus 16,000 here. So it goes up, and it's when you get to the larger uh, states uh, and with the larger skills, uh, the amount he's actually putting out is going to be much higher. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to just have to wait for these to come out. Or you're just going to have to wait for your expedition to just play. And there's no easy way to actually get these other than, like, quick challenges. Which you only get one of 
every 24 hours. And out of all of them, you get like your power cores, uh, you get your awakening chips. Uh, uh, it's uh, very, very uh, easy to do. So I could get 20 more by spending 300 uh, gems, which I don't have. And uh, essentially I can just put whoever I want into here. And it's going to raise their stats pretty uh, exponentially. Like Carnage is at like almost a million here. So it's, it's not bad. Uh, but it's, again, it's not going to raise your character skills, so don't use it if you're using it for this only. It's just an artificial level. So, essentially what you're going to want to do at this point is just raise it as much as you possibly can. Uh, training center is a huge BP boost. Uh, as you see, I have, like, an extra, I think I got an extra 400,000 BP today from that alone and that's just because my uh hp increases by a massive amount uh and your attack damage is going to be so much higher i'm actually going to see i'm at 2 million hp for boros now 2 million for garo almost 2 million so it's only going to increase so i heavily suggest doing it um, just don't worry about who's in here. Just put in your strongest, and that'll be all. Alright, bye-bye.